Hello there everyone, Parade Scooter here bringing you more Sanctum for the PC. They just keep making stuff for this game. <laughs> anyway, there was an update released actually shortly after I completed the other two other two DLC maps, or no, the DLC map and the free map, Aftermath and Aftershock, where two new maps and a new a new weapon and a new tower have been released to the public. So how about I just stop my blabber mountain and we dive right into this action, eh? Okay. <laughs> Bringing my hands in front of you. So let's just dive right in. Single player, level select. We're gonna hopefully hope you don't see it. Now, there have been new modes added and I will do my best to cover these modes in later videos. But to, to, uh, to knowledge that you should know, turn on survival. And it basically is go how long you can go to the end of the game. The standard is what you think. Bounty, you have a set time limit for how long you get to build. And then the round starts automatically. Pre-built, you're stuck with whatever is shown on the screen. Uh, stamina, unfortunately I haven't read too much into that. I'll, I'll experiment with that down the road. But we're not going to use survival mode today. We're just going to do standard mode. No. Both these, levels, both these levels, Cavern and Slums, last two here, are DLC, and they cost $2 a piece on the US side, so I'm assuming when it comes to Europe, it's be, it'd probably be about a pound and a half or so. Um, outside of that, I think we'll just go ahead and we'll dive right into the caverns now. Yes, yes, that's fine. Caverns. As you will see in a moment here, and actually, I have to change the setting really quick, or maybe I don't. You know, I'm going to change the setting really quick just to be safe, so pardon me for a moment, folks. Alright, and I just basically fixed it. I just had to switch out what, how many frames a second I was getting. Um, so yeah, on this level, caverns, there are actually no flying waves whatsoever. So that means you can come in here and pick whatever you want that isn't a flying wave. And I learned a lot from last time. Well, I never even used these last time. I was just going to throw them in there for the hell of it. Yeah. So you see my setup. Scatter, Violator, Slow Fields. Slow Fields, you'll see why those are in there and not Killing Floor in just a moment here. Mortars, Gatlings, Lightnings. All that good stuff. Now the... I thought someone was talking to me for a moment. Sorry, I guess I'm getting paranoid. Uh, anyway, weaponry. Now the weaponry we have here is changed up a bit because we no longer have the freeze gun. Because we don't have freeze gun, this is why we have all those slow fields. Because our new gun makes me happy. Rex. It's a rocket launcher. It doesn't reload too fast. It doesn't reload. It reloads faster than the uh, freeze gun. And it shoots up rockets and gets more rockets as you upgrade it. Now this solves the solution of me with my with the little bugger. So my setup right now is a shotgun, a sniper rifle, and, a, and Rex here. And somebody is now featured in the video. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop in this level. Now this level. Oh man, this level. As I shake my head at the ground like you, like you can see. This level, just from the overhead view. Well, one thing you might notice is that they've changed the lines so now they look like a street, like a street, and not some other BS. But what they've changed is, well, this one is, or I can't talk straight. They've added a lot. Of, they've made it so that a lot you cannot place a lot of blocks in this map. As I do my pinpoints, clicking and whatnot. Now, what I'm setting up right now. Is basically just to force the enemy to bob and weave throughout everything. You make it. You can build whatever you want. Again, those of you who play this game and want to show me a better build path, please do. I am always open to suggestions. Besides, behind some of these war pads, you'll see uh, more platforms you can build on. 
So jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Come up here. We're gonna build these two right where I'm standing. Same with those two. Now the path is pretty much preset for you. So, I mean, you can't really alter the path all that much. Which I guess is good and bad in a, in a way. Because it's like, oh hey, look, you got all these fancy things you can mess with. You probably should mess with them, but you can mess with them. Come now, friend. I did this backwards, didn't I? No, no, no. I didn't. It just not set up. Don't mind me. I'm just having a brain spasm. Whee! Alright. Now, I can get it to explain the other mechanic of this level is probably pretty obvious. The guys at Coffee Stain Studios have gotten their, her, their hands on some portal technology. Because we were just up there and now we're here. Also, if I can get over there, they've got their hands on some of the launch pad on some of the launch pad technology from Unreal Tournament. Whee! Fast travel at its finest. So you can use all these to your advantage to get where you need to go as fast as you can, and they're located all over the place. And see, there's a launch pad by where you spawn by default. And there's two at the bottom of the, at the or three at the bottom of the map. Four? No, that's not that's not a launcher. There's three pads at the bottom of the map, so you can kind of fly around. Now, how I like to look around the place to, so I can see everything is I like to go through this portal just beyond where you used to teleport, and go up this ramp here. That way, I can get a good view of everything, and you can walk out of this part too. So. <coughs> Now, how I want to build this. Let's go ahead and build a... Uh, you can't see much down there, can you? Oh well. Put a, put a, Just put out two violators. And then I want this guy here to bomb everything you can see. Now, even though you only see it on the plane that you sit, that you're currently sitting on, um, weaponry will attack other levels of the of the place. So, don't worry too much about that. Um, other than that, I'm gonna I'm kind of gonna set this up in a way where I'm gonna have them walk through various bad fields of badness, like that. Um, this level monsters t gen uh, tend to have not as much life. But there's uh, the makeup for that. There's not many towers you can build on this map, unless you want to, like, have them have the monsters run a straight line down one side of this. But then that's not very optimal, though, is it? Um, I think I've explained everything. You can, um, well, somebody could explain about those uh, jump pads, which let me get down to it. And I can explain it a little bit. You can alter your path once you've bounced off of these a little bit. Like, I want to aim for this. That was nowhere near in line with what I jumped off of. Oh, oh, well, my ball's up. <laughs> well, dudes, instead of trying to be fancy, how about you just fly the way you're supposed to? Nope, right here is where I want to land. So I can greet the baddies when they first walk out. Now, for some reason on this map, it likes to start you out with tanks. That's cool. I got an arsenal I can deal use to deal with them. Now, as you see, the rocket launcher doesn't really recharge all that fast. So this time around, I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. So yes, Rex here. As you can see, plain and simple, he is a rocket launcher. I'm gonna go off a little bit higher. 
Uh, how he works, he has two functions. Standard function, works just like a rocket launcher from Team Fortress 2, Halo, whatever your brand of chili is. Alternate function, you can log on to a faraway target and have tracer rounds go at them. Except I did that didn't work because I fired it too close. This weapon, this weapon's altered fire is not too good for indoor. Uh, checkpoints have been altered, or how checkpoints work have been altered. Basically, um, it'll t basically give you a chance to undo what you did if you uh, every couple levels in case. Oh crap! This isn't what I want. Undo. Gives you a chance to go back and undo it, which is a nice touch. I thank you for doing that, Coffee Stain. Let's see. I took all those out of my own, really, for the most part. Ah, uh, my beloved scatter lasers. How I love thee. Now, there's not a real science behind setting these, setting up this uh, map. Or wait, shoot. Well, there was science there, but I just balls it up. Like, there's no science to the point where I don't even have to... Can I hit them head on? Good, I am still a good shot with rockets. Shot off on him. <laughs> you go boom. Damn it, there goes my accuracy. But yeah, there's not really a science with this now. With this particular level, it's just how much can you depend upon yourself to kill things? And also, how much can you, can you depend on your stuff to kill those little buggers? What I like to do is I do like to build up everything first and then I'll throw down enough slow fields to choke a horse. Oh shoot, oh I barely caught it. Oddly enough, you don't need very many televators on this level. Which good good for you, because Well, trust me, you're gonna want to just get used to how the level works. Let's see. I'm gonna try and do this. Yep. There. See, I teleported. Telepaul, my oh. Let's see. How about we put. I'm gonna put a mortar on you. And a lightning. And two lightnings on, on you guys. And then. Scatter. Let's upgrade a weapon. Let's upgrade Rex. I really like Rex. It's a good, it's a good weapon. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, chargers. Chargers seem don't seem to have uh, don't seem to have as much life as they used to now. And I'm gonna totally snipe them with this. Bang! I hit one. Oh, total width. But as you see, now I have two shots I can use. That, work out. that did not work out as planned. I whiffed again. Come on over here. Where'd you go? Where'd I go? <laughs> the swift move is swift. Hit that tower. You can tell I'm happy by, by, by this because of the fact that, well, those of you that watch my TF2 montages know that I like to play soldier. And I'm starting to get good at air shotting. Okay, so we've got these up here built. Uh, next level. What do we got? Okay. Uh, hallway of Death. I'll actually go ahead and upgrade my sniper now. If you run instead of I do, the shotgun is probably the least of your worries. Hmm. Let's see. We're gonna put. Yeah, I'll put the lightning there. Scatter there. Uh, scatter. Scatter. Lightning. And. Let's start, start throwing down them slow fields. 